Syria's President Bashar al-Assad has warned that his country is ready to confront any external aggression as America claims it now has physical evidence of a chemical weapons attack. Meantime, UK Foreign Secretary William Hague has told Sky News that the British Parliament's decision against military action stands, saying a further vote would be unrealistic. Buoyed by a weekend of brinkmanship, which he probably feels he's won, Syria's President Assad appeared on state television. He's bought himself time after America said Congress would make the final decision on military intervention. In the meantime, he issued a written statement on a rallying propaganda video declaring Syria was ready and more than able to defend itself. Undeterred, America's Secretary of State John Kerry toured the U.S. Sunday talk shows, declaring there was new evidence against the regime. We have now learned that, that hair and blood samples that have come to us from uh, East Damascus, from individuals who are engaged as first responders in East Damascus, I can report to you today they have tested positive for signatures of sarin. The Commons said no to military intervention, but in spite of John Kerry's urgency, Britain's Foreign Secretary says there won't be a second vote. Parliament has spoken, and I don't think it's realistic to think that we can go back to Parliament every week with the same question, having received no for an answer. Evidence gathered by UN weapons inspectors is now being examined at laboratories across Europe. America is building its case against President Assad.